Armenian Prime Minister. There is no country in the world to not recognize Karabakh as part of Azerbaijan. Armenia has always recognized Azerbaijan's territorial integrity, but it has not always been stated or recorded, Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said in a briefing. I regret to say that there is no country in the world that does not recognize Karabakh as a part of Azerbaijan, he added. Pashinyan read the statements of the representatives of the co-chair countries of the OSCE Minsk Group. He referred to the Russian President Vladimir Putin, Stefan Visconti, the former French co-chairman of the OSCE Minsk Group, and excerpts from the US State Department's annual report on human rights regarding the recognition of Azerbaijan's territorial integrity. The separatists, with the help of Armenia, continued to take most of Nagorno-Karabakh and seven other regions of Azerbaijan under control. Pashinyan read the excerpt from one of the State Department's reports. Nicole Pashinyan said that Baku has never refused to discuss the rights and security of Armenians living in Karabakh at the negotiating table, said the Prime Minister of Armenia. He stressed that Armenia and Azerbaijan do not trust each other. Steps should be taken to eliminate this lack of trust. The international and geopolitical situation in the world remains tense and unstable. The world order, which is considered one of the main factors of stability in our region, does not actually exist. No one knows what the new world order will look like. Armenia's influence in the process of formation of the new world order is uncertain and intangible, and the threats arising from geopolitical instability are visible and real. Nikol Pashinyan said regarding the events of Ukraine, the geopolitical influence on our region has decreased. Traditional east-west formulas are not effective enough. None of the countries bordering Armenia are in conflict with each other. The formula for solving even the most urgent issues is a policy of cooperation, which is more effective due to the balance of interests. In this regard, considering that our relations with Iran and Georgia are developing naturally and should continue to develop, it is necessary to sign a peace treaty with Azerbaijan and normalize relations with Turkey, he said.